today we're having conversations on songs in the key of swoo and i'm diana lopez i am director of southwest workers union we are looking forward to hearing a little bit more about the intentions of uh, this playlist how it came to be um when do we listen to it how do we listen to it and sort of what's what's up with the different um pieces that are connected and weave through this playlist so i'm bonnie cisneros i'm uh Who am I? I'm an educator, I'm a writer, I'm a DJ, I'm a mother, I'm a, sort of like a cultural um, archivist, preserver, promoter here in San Antonio. We started doing food boxes um, for with Southwest Workers Union, and we started including vegetables from the garden, that we had there and we started buying produce from a local um, distributor to add more of a fresh produce to it and also um, to kind of coordinate with a lot of the different diets um, that we had. Um, there's, you know, a lot of folks who had specific diabetic diet diets, so we wanted to include veggies that were soulful, that were in season, and that would, would be able to use um, you know, that we can make salsas with, or we can make different types, add a little bit of spice to our food, um, as well as, as herbs that, that we could use. And so we spend about three hours in the mornings, every Thursday, kind of packing and, and doing that. And so we listen to music. And so over the past, you know, after three months, we've all cycled through a lot of our playlists. And we were mm -hmm. like, you know, who's next? Somebody put their phone on, <laughs> on the speaker and sort of this idea of like creating something that we could, that was intentionally meant for us, that was created to be used in spaces that were supporting community um, was something that, that we were interested in. We have folks distributing. We have about five to six folks going out with these like nutritional food boxes distributing. And it's like, the image and the intentions of people like listening, you know, to this playlist, to these, to these songs, to these like beats as they're delivering this like beautiful, nutritious local food is like really, you know, feels really good and grounded to me. Can you share a little bit more about some of the um, song choices, some of the decisions? Um, well, when you reached out to me, I guess that was, it feels like a couple of months ago, um, and you sort of just like, you were very, you were very, you were specific yet broad, you know, you said like, um, like we, <laughs> we'd like you to curate a playlist for us, for our community as we're doing this work. And like, of course, like being someone who's like followed your, your work in terms of like the organization and then the, the, it's like kind of umbrella and then like, you know, the garden and the gallery, like all these years, like I kind of have, I mean, I have a feel for the community and sort of like when COVID hit, I feel like it was very obvious like what our first needs were, like in terms of like people banding together, people starting to buy like boxed produce, mm -hmm. you know, you, you all providing it. And then like people were all of a sudden shopping in a new way, right? Shopping from from the, the produce centers or whatever, instead of instead of like relying on HEB for produce. And like, it just was very apparent in the beginning that like food was like, gonna be like <laughs> um really like something that seemed like scarce but yet yet we, we started to like kind of like shop in a different way you know um and so when I when you when I started drafting the playlist like that whole idea of like just songs that um I started with songs that like had personally like helped me throughout the past almost four years songs that would like I would go to like to help me feel like this is gonna be okay, like we're gonna be okay, you know? So I had I had like a set, like maybe of 10 that were like, okay, these were my anthems for the past four years, feeling like I need help, you know, I'm feeling like whatever, distraught, distressed, like depressed, whatever, these songs help me, pull me out of that. And then the whole idea of food, like I, I it's something I've been kind of like doing in my own research, researching old recipes and researching like stuff like that. Like there's a lot of food songs, you know, a lot of songs that kind of deal with with that theme or whatever. So I was like, that would be a cool like addition because that's that's one of their main, um, it's one of the organization's main um, missions, right? 
to grow and to provide healthy food, right? So I love themes and I feel like I sort of like got your memo, you know, like what you wanted me to do. And then I was able to kind of build upon that, you know, the nature, <laughs> the nature of SWU and kind of like my nature too, is to like, want to like uh, um, collaborate, you know, and want to like have input. So I did put a call out on my, on my Instagram stories, like asking, like letting people know what I was doing and then asking them for their, you know, either their hype song or their, one of their anthems to help them feel that helps them feel good, you know, and helps them like, um, process and just just feel feel empowered so I got a lot of I got a lot of good, really good responses you know people shared links to to music and some of it was already there <laughs> some a couple of the songs I had already included and some of them I had never heard before um so it was cool to like that's the, like I guess the coolest part always of this of the of the DJ life is learning new music because people will like they're so um, generous with wanting to like share you know, um, music and a lot, like half the time it's new to me. And so like, I'm able to build my, like, you know, my catalog, you know, by people's, people's, um, desire to, to share music. So, um, there's some of the songs. Yeah. There's, there's, there's songs on there that people suggested and, uh, that just sort sort of made sense. And then at a certain point, like later in the editing process, I discovered a, uh, a compilation on Spotify called the vinyl, I think it's called the vinyl project. And all it is is audio clips uh -huh. of different um, activists and scholars. Um, and they're little like little snippets or whatever. And so I found a couple of snippets I really liked, you know, I, was, I had already had some like Angela Davis on there. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to like weave in these like audio clips between kind of like as or almost like bookends to segments of songs. So once I had that breakthrough, it was like, okay, yeah, now it's like <laughs> on, you know, because like in a vinyl DJ set, you're, you're confined to your records. You have your records to work from, but like on Spotify, you have pretty much the entire recorded, you know, catalog pretty much at your fingertips, which could be really intimidating. But once I found those audio clips, it helps sort of like frame little segments of songs. And I, and I, and I feel like they, they uh, help set the tone, you know, in a different way. There's just a different voices coming through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you would like to share? Um, any upcoming projects that um, you'd like to share? Anything like that? Upcoming projects. So um, I taught a workshop through the San Antonio Public Library at the Latino Collection. Um, and we finally finished our workshop series um, last week. And so we are going to be, um, the original idea was we we're going to have an exhibit at the library showing our, our work, but obviously that's not happening. So we are going to, we have adapted and we are going to create a zine out of people's submissions. They're going to be creating um, altares at home. Um, and we kind of opened up the idea of what an altar can be. It's not, not necessarily like a physical structure. It can be other things. So we're going to make, we're going to be publishing a zine in September. It'll be published. We'll, we'll have physical copies, but it's going to be published online. And so that's something that I'm really like excited about working on and excited about putting out into the world. You know, it's going to be like a document of our project, but a document of this time. Home became like a place of uh, kind of like refuge, you know, and uh, it took on a different tone, I guess, now that we're in quarantine. So these altares are going to be, a, a, you know, kind of like a document or a testament to this time. So that's pretty much what I would like to, uh, um, for people to know about, I guess. Awesome. Well, thank you for hopping on for a few minutes while we drink our morning coffee. <laughs> yes. Cheers, Diana. Thank you so much. <laughs> And, you know, I, I also, you know, I, I deeply admire your work. I, I love dancing to your work, you know, being in spaces where you are playing, performing, uh, you know, kind of just in its own self. What, what's the difference between, you know, being, um, you know, how as, as a DJ who does the mer their majority of work on vinyl um, and in person and with, you know, in these spaces, like how, how do you feel, you know, people listening to, 
to this music in their own, you know, place base, in their own homes and things like that? Like, is there any, you know, final words or intentions you'd like to give folks as, as we, you know, as we open up this link for people to use in ways that is really going to, you know, um, is they're really going to use in whatever ways they need at this point? Yeah, I feel like um, with, with the vinyl sets, you know, um, they were ephemeral, they're temporary. They existed only in, you know, in that space, in that time, and we, we got what we got out of it, and it's over. And as the DJ, there were moments when I was able to sort of like let go and listen and be there and present and like hearing it but there's so much work involved you know switching the record and you know dealing with sound issues and um dealing with the public talking to you which you know is part of it that I love to do but it's the work is um it's work right with this one a lot of the work is up front for me I did a lot of editing. I did a lot of listening. I did a lot of thinking with each song. Like I felt like, I, I felt like each song is its own little gift. You know, each audio snippet is its own little gift. And so I wanted to create like a structure that sort of, or like almost like a patchwork that um, is like a little like colchita, right? A colchita of like, you know, inspiration and like empowerment and like um, edu education and just like, inspire people to to feel and to move right because movement and music and movement you know go, they go hand in hand so now that it's out in the world and it got it got today was going to be the day right for me to release it but like i got kind of like inspired to like um put it out last night so once it was public because it was a private list at first once it was made public i've been listening to it and I'm able to like enjoy it almost like like kind of like when you when you're cooking right and you're making a really like kind of intricate like a mole or something that takes a lot of steps and when you're in it you're not really like you're tasting but you're not really enjoying maybe uh -huh. and it's not till the next day when you heat it up again <laughs> that you like you taste it for almost the first time so I'm listening to it today like for the first time and like there was a moment like where I was hearing the Celia Cruz like um the I Will Survive cover right the Celia Cruz or whatever and I started to cry like I've, I've heard it like 50 times over the last couple of weeks but today like hearing it fresh like it 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 I could hear it like this is what I, I could feel I could hear why I chose that song and like what it what I'm hoping like people will, will feel when they hear her sing that song you know so yeah, like I'm, I'm excited to just enjoy it myself, you know, and uh, yeah. So thank you, you know, thank you for the opportunity, and thank you for entrusting me with, with. I mean, you know, music is so important, and to to be entrusted by y'all to make this for the community is just, it means a lot to me. So, I too had a moment of like tears last night. <laughs> like, yeah, I have songs in there, in, like Sister Manto's Fin del Mundo, <laughs> and I was mm -hmm. like. Oh my God, I know why this one is here. <laughs> um, yeah. But, you know, I, I definitely look forward to all the moments um, where this will kind of, you know, make those connections and weave in kind of these different ideas. Um, I'll, um, we'll have the, all the links available on our online site as well as uh, you could follow uh, DJ Despina on Instagram and on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, and I look forward to seeing the projects you have um joining in and peeping in and giving you all the love that you need and deserve during this moment yeah, thank you diana i love you so much i love y'all and uh you know we're gonna get we're gonna get through this and it's uh it's like it's like 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 arundati roy says it's a portal right and 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 i feel it like we're we're we're, we're building our way towards where we want the portal to end up so yeah and yeah Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that's definitely important as we like talk about kind of things that we want to see and that we want to need that are based on our like dreams and are based on our vision. And I think there's definitely, you know, a large group of people right now, you know, working towards kind of creating spaces and changing things and, you know, changing the rules <laughs> so that we're able to like not go back to what normal is, um, but really mm -hmm. 
craft and create and be leading, um, you know, community, community spaces with, you know, our own dreams and visions and ideas and thoughts and creativity. Thank you so much. Thank you, Diana.